We have a very special moment for our invitees. We have a very special lucky draw. I will conduct the same. I would like to invite past president Gary Vasudev. Hello, friends. May I have your attention, please? We are going to start with a lucky draw, and this is a very special lucky draw. Our district governor elect feels that we are he is one with all of you, and as he lights the lamp to start his start his year, he would like two of his president elects to join him for the lamp lighting, and these lucky two will be selected in the first lucky draw. May I request Sarita to please? Bring the ball, and may I request Nitu Basinji to please do the honors. <laughs> President elect Abhinav Bansal from Durga Cosmopolitan, <laughs> and Neha Bansal. <laughs> For the second President elect, may I request Nitu Meraji to please do the honors. <laughs> President elect. Ashish Kumar Jain and Jyoti Jain from Roti Purva Bali. So, we have a favor to vote and we will start this year, the preparations for this year with the district governor elect. Uh, we would also like to select one person from the organizing team. And may I request Shruti Ji to please do the honors for that. Wow, it's Vimal, Rotarian Vimal Gupta from Rotary Club of New Delhi. <laughs> the most diligent reporter of our district. Before we start with the lamp lighting, we have to follow the protocol. Now may I invite BG Suresh Vaseen on stage and Chief Sergeant Mohit Agarwal to kindly follow the BG. आ गए थे आ गए 
मैं भी हाथ लगा लेता अभी तक तो चलो जी
पांच दृष्टि का बना हेमंत आहूजा एंड नरिनी जी
स्पेशल इन्वाइटेड फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रिक्ट फ्री जिलों में भोपाल जैसी गवर्नर रमेश अग्रवाल एंड नंदा जी कैन यू वेन अप्लाउस फॉर स्पेशल इन्वाइटेड स्पीच
Kauplan Subramaniam dan Dari Tajik District Trainer Ravi Chaudhary dan Dari Tajik IPDG Vinay Bhatia dan Muni Dari DJ and Anu Bhetan and Shruti District Pass District Bonus from District Our Old District Part of us They were part of us District 3012 Ramesh Agarwati Shar Jain Pass District Bonus Immediate Pass District Bonus Pass Jain DG in waiting, DG in waiting, Ashoka Garwal in Aruna, my batchmate, Deepa Gupta and Hina, DG Ramesh Bajaj and Deepa. District team members, my family of Rotary and Rotarians, Rotary greetings, from myself and Ritu to all the presidents Aapko Aane Wale Saal Ki Bodh Bodh Shukh Kaam Nai It is my proud privilege to extend warm heartfelt greetings to all presidents of Ruti here and their incoming first ladies of B.E. Sikhis and thus to a new experience of serving the humanity the greatest joy comes from giving and serving. Rotary connects the world to inspire individuals who transform their passions to improve their lives in their communities. Dear Sanjeev, our incoming district governor, I am confident that under your leadership, you will motivate members and together we will make our clubs strong to be more effective, to grow in membership and prestige by following the principles on which Rotary thrives.
Mr. Governor Suresh and Ritu, past governors Hemant and Nalini, past governor Ashok and Sagarika, past governor Bobby, past governor Rajesh, past governor Daman and Srini, past governor Ashish and Past, sorry, <laughs> Sharmila. Actually, this is the first time I'm on stage and nervous. <laughs> Normally, I'm pretty quick at speaking, but well, it's. I have to start some very eminent past governors, that is Vinay Kumar Agarwal and Deepak Kapoor. Why are you people hiding in the back? Huh? <laughs> we don't have Sanjay and Rina right now. Oh, oh, sorry, we don't have Sanjay and Rina. Well, that's the disadvantage of sitting right in the front. You don't know who's at your back. <laughs> Past governor Amit and Swati. Swati is here? No. Yeah. Amit is. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Past Governor Vinod and Dr. Sangeeta, Past Governor Sudhir and Sunita, Past Governor Subra and Lalita, Ravi and Ritu, Vinay and Punita, Governor Nominee Anup and Shruti. From our neighboring district, we have Governor Deepak and Reena, and we have Alok and Shivani, and my future, my batchmate. Originally, it's President P.J. Ashok and Aruna, host of past district governors from there. At the outset, let me congratulate all of my presidents who have been elected. I am indeed honored by their having accepted to be the presidents in the year 2021. And also my grateful thanks to this district for having elected me to serve as a leader in the year 2021. It gives me an opportunity, having been born into a Rotary family, as you all know, my father's been a Rotarian since 1952. My membership of Rotary was a concomitance, and I had to, I've always aspired to be a Rotarian. Eventually, having risen up to be the president of one of the most prestigious clubs at that time, Rotary Club of Delhi, and today I assume office in a few months' time to be the district governor of 3011. From the day I got elected, the first task I gave myself was how do I make this district the number one district in the world? And I said the easiest method is if I can get one of my members to be elected to the highest office of Rotary, I would be the cynosure of the world. Sure enough. But there are no free lunches in Rotary. You may not always get what you desire. But along the way, you do get a few things which you may not deserve. These are called your blessings. My blessings came in the form of all of you presidents. Each and every one of you. So charged up. So full of life. That I said, I am truly blessed to have this team. And this is the team. Together we are going to make 3011 the number one district in the world. As I get to know you more and more, I found that all of you are people of integrity. Integrity not only in what you do, doing everything correctly without being told what you're doing, what you have to do. 
but integrity because each and every one of you connects with the world and builds trust. You connect with the community and you serve them with selfless service, thereby building their trust with you. You connect with the benefactors and give them an account for all the money that they give you, the benevolence that they give you, and thus you build trust. But not only that, you are each and every one of you that I realized and interacted with over the past few years, few months, is a person who is faced with reality. You accept reality in its true meaning. And therefore, you are the people, together with all of us, we are going to make this number one. And to make this number one, we have a team that will, over the years, over the next few months, train you to be a number one district. Integrity not only implies what I have said, but integrity also implies accepting the transcendent. You transcend yourselves from ordinary beings to a higher level where you are going to achieve stellar results. Ordinary people like Mahatma Gandhi, Eric Weinmeyer, Colonel T. Lawrence, they were ordinary people and yet they were able to transform the course of history. Gandhi without lifting a finger, the smallest finger, was able to drive out the largest empire from India. Eric Weinmeyer, a young boy who was blind, decided he is not going to waste his time and he wanted to climb Mount Everest. He did it at the age of 25. Colonel T. E. Lawrence, Thomas Edison Lawrence, and he was very famously known as Lawrence of Arabia, he changed the course of history in World War I by turning defeat into victory for the Allies. Single-handedly, one person. Going through his book, Seven Pillows of Wisdom, he writes, and I quote, All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake up in the day to find it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act on their dreams with open eyes to make them possible. You and I, my friends, are going to dream and then we are going to plan and then we are going to execute. Three things I found, as Gautam Buddha says, it's all in your mind, what you imagine you will become. And three things are essential for that. One is passion. You must have passion for what you do. You must serve selflessly, because when you serve selflessly, you serve with happiness. And once you serve with happiness, you have to put in hard work and you will receive stellar results. Fellow Ontarians, today was going to be an important day for India. A lot of us Indians, a lot of, a lot of us people in the world think it was a failure, but not the Prime Minister. You do stumble at times, but you become wiser by that. And while Chandrayaan was only aiming for the moon, you and I are destined to go where no one has gone before. And that is why you 
are called, we all are called, the Trailblazer Team. And I can promise you that by the end of your training, you will realize yourselves that you are a different person and you're going to do it for the world. Thank you, Jay.